Hi there, welcome to How to D&D. My name's Frederick Weller and today I'm going to show you how to check the dice balance for all of your dice, not just your D20. That means checking your D4, D6, D8, D10, D12, and uh, doing that with salt water can create a few problems and I'll show you why. I'll just take this, we'll drop all those dice in there. I've dissolved 10 teaspoons of salt in the water and you can see right now the 20 sided dice has risen to the surface, it's the first one to rise up. So that's not an issue testing the D20. But the other dice are sitting at the bottom of the, uh, the glass. This, you can see right now it's starting to rise up, one of the dice is lifting up and that is the 12 sided dice. And there's a few reasons why this happens and I will explain to you. The density of the solution has to be greater than the dice. That's to allow them to actually be buoyant and rise to the surface. And salt water is not dense enough to make the other dice rise up and float. Uh, you can heat the water to try to increase the amount of salt that you can dissolve or saturate in the water, but heating the water doesn't really help that much. Okay, now the six sided dice has risen up. What you'll notice is with cold water and you add salt, and then you do hot water and add salt, the amount of salt you can dissolve is pretty much the same amount. And the best way to do this is actually not with salt, it's to use sugar. Uh, and the reason being you can dissolve about five times as much sugar and hot water compared to salt. So that is a much better solution to use for testing your dice. And we can see a few more dice are rising to the surface. Right now we've got a, that's the eight sided dice and the four sided dice and is there anything We've got one dice sitting at the bottom of the, uh, the glass. Still hasn't risen up yet. We'll keep waiting. So how do I increase the buoyancy? Okay, there we go. The ten-sided dice is finally lifted up. Now, as a general rule, the four-sided dice should be the last one to rise up. And it's based on the basic formula for figuring out the density of something. Now, density is determined by mass and volume. So mass is the weight of the object and volume is the size and so surface area or just general size of the actual object in the solution that you want to float in that's, that determines the density of that particular item so <clears throat> we're going to change the density of our solution by using sugar sugar water is not actually denser than salt water now what I mean by that is if you were to dissolve 10 teaspoons of sugar compared to 10 teaspoons of salt in a hot water solution, the density of the salt water is greater than the sugar water. But the fact that you can dissolve far more sugar than salt in water if you heat the water is what makes it really, really useful. So this time we're going to use sugar rather than salt to actually make our dice buoyant float to the surface so we can test whether they are random or if they are biased towards a particular number. We should be able to dissolve a lot more sugar because I have heated the water, it is boiling. So that is 50 teaspoons of sugar compared to only 10 teaspoons of salt. But this is now very viscous, it's very very dense. It's important that when you put your dice in to actually check that they are balanced, that they are quite buoyant because if they are more responsive, the that's helpful to you to actually determine whether the sides are unbalanced. So now I'm going to take all of the dice, there's a 20 sided dice, a 10 sided dice, a uh, 12, a 4, a 6, uh, and uh, the dice should float very quickly. Now you can see all of the dice, they haven't sunk to the bottom, they are sitting near the top, which means that you're actually better off to use sugar water, simply because the dice are far more buoyant. From our little test with the salt water, we know that the 20 sided dice is more likely to actually float to the surface. So therefore we don't have to add quite as much sugar to our solution to make that float. Next one is the 6 sided dice and the 12 sided dice. So they are the next ones that will float to the surface. So we're going to have to add a little bit more sugar for them. And then the 8 sided and 10 sided dice are next, so we have to add yet more sugar to make sure they float to the surface. The dice that struggles to actually float to the surface is the four sided dice, so we have to add quite a bit of sugar compared to the other dice to actually make sure it floats to the surface fairly quickly. So now we're going to test each dice, we're going to start with the 
20 sided dice adding sugar till it is buoyant and it floats quickly to the surface. I have added 23 teaspoons of sugar to this glass and now the dice is now buoyant. It's floating up fairly quickly and I'm now getting it to a point where it's responding like the, the salt water was. So you need to add about just over twice as much sugar as salt to your solution to make a 20 sided dice float. So now that we've figured that out we can take that dice out. We now need to deal with the, the next set. The 6 sided and the 12 sided. And right now they are only partially floating. They are just making it to the surface. But they're not, they're not coming back, rising very quickly. You can see that they're, they're taking a little bit of time to, to lift up back to the surface. So we're going to add more sugar. Now the 6-sided dice and the 12-sided dice are floating. In terms of the responsiveness, if I push them down, that's rising fairly quickly. So is that. 6-sided dice is not rising quite as quickly. But I would say that's 25 teaspoons of sugar. That 12 sided dice is now ready to be tested because it's floating back up the surface fairly fast. I can put that over here. The 6 sided dice, you might need to add just a little bit more sugar. It's not too bad. It is lifting up fairly quickly, but we could add just a little bit more. That's 27 teaspoons of sugar. And you can see that our 6 sided dice is now lifting back up to the surface nice and quickly. So that's just right. That's now ready to be tested. As long as you tip the dice and your number is changing, you know your dice are relatively balanced. Now the 8 sided dice and the 10 sided dice, you can see they are floating. How fast do they lift back up? Now the 8 sided dice took a lot longer, but you can see the 10 sided dice, it is lifting up fairly quickly. We can add just a little bit more sugar I think. I've now added 30 teaspoons of sugar to the solution to make the 8 sided dice and the 10 sided dice float. Are they responsive? The 8 sided dice is floating back up fairly quickly, so is the 10 sided dice. That's three times as much sugar in the same amount of water as the salt we used, which was 10 teaspoons and only about 8 teaspoons fully dissolved. So that means you have to actually apply quite a bit of sugar to actually make it actually float but you can see they are rising fairly quickly. So that's ready for testing. The last dice is the four sided dice. This is the one that we struggle to actually get to float. It is floating right now, which is good. And you can see, if I tip it, it's not dropping down very far. So basically, three times as much sugar and the same amount of water as salt. So you can test your four sided dice, your eight sided dice, and your 10 sided dice. So now you know how to make a sugar solution for actually testing your dice, all of your dice, not just your 20 sided dice. I want to thank Daniel Fisher again for putting up his video on how to check the, the dice balance on your dice to make sure they're not actually uh, rolling low or rolling high and that they actually do what they're supposed to do. And um, this video is really keyed in for anybody who wanted to check all the other dice. So now you know, sugar water, there's your solution. Um, Epsom salts will certainly increase buoyancy more than normal table salt, but sugar is pretty easy to get by and you can uh, certainly increase the buoyancy of your dice uh, to a phenomenal level by using sugar water. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please share, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make a comment below if you have any questions about how to actually check the balance of your dice and I will try to answer those questions as best I can. I did a little bit of testing with the sugar water. I was actually amazed. A friend of mine by the name of Simon Abbott said, Fred, salt water's all right, but sugar water is the best option. And I have to agree, sugar water is the best option. It's just very sticky. Uh, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. And a d4, and a d6, and a d8, and a d10, and a d12. Yeah.